Uhuru comrades, and welcome to today's Omali Taught Me Sunday Study, the Institute of African International Study. We are continuing the discussion on Russia and Ukraine, looking at the events that have unfolded this past week. We will also continue to look at this question in the context of the colonial mode of production. How is the colonial domination of Africa and African people connected to this conflict? And what must be done once we know the answer? To discuss this, we will have the honor of speaking with the leader of the African nation and worldwide African revolution, Chairman Amalia Shetela. Before we move forward, I ask that you take a moment to like and share this video and tag someone you know to join this discussion right now. Disrupt Zuckerberg's censorship tactics by getting as many people onto this live. Do your part in making sure the masses of people hungry for this analysis can access it. Like and share this video and tag a friend right now. So we'll be bringing back our special guest from last week, Secretary General of the African Socialist International, Louise Kinshasa, and the ASI Africa Regional Director of Organization, Tafari Mugheri. While this will primarily be a discussion between our panelists, we may take questions that some of you posed last week. If you have another question, type that into the chat section and we will document it. During today's study, you can donate to our show at paypal.me slash Omali taught me. You'll see that link available in the Facebook and YouTube description. So let's begin this discussion with an overview which provides the historical context for the struggle that we're seeing today, which includes updates around the situation with, the, with Russia and Ukraine from just this past week. So, let's go ahead. so this is being brought to you by the Department of Agitation and Propaganda for the African People's Socialist Party. This map shows Ukraine, which is considered to be in Europe. Ukraine shares borders with Russia, Belarus, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, and Moldova. This map shows the Donbass region of Ukraine, where Donetsk is located, recognized by Russia as Russian territory. Most of the 3.6 million people living in this region speak Russian as their primary language. This map shows Crimea, circled, which is a key geopolitical Russian territory next to Ukraine on the Black Sea, facing Turkey, which functions as a US military base and key ally. A United Nations vote condemning Russia this week got five votes against the resolution. The no votes came from Russia, Belarus, Syria, North Korea, and Eritrea. A total of 35 abstentions came from around the world, including 16 from African countries, among them South Africa, Mozambique, Angola, Algeria, Namibia, China, Iraq, Iran, Pakistan, India, Cuba, Vietnam, Nicaragua, Bolivia, and others abstained. 12 countries did not vote at all, including Venezuela. The colors are purple for yes, orange for no, and brown for abstaining. All the colonial powers built on the enslavement of African people and the colonial mode of production around the world are lined up in the attack on Russia, which never participated in the enslavement of African people and aided in African liberation movements. The US is bombing and sending drone strikes around the world every day against colonized peoples. The US drops an average of 46 bombs per day every day and dropped at least 337,000 bombs and missiles on colonized countries in the past 20 years. Here are some of the quote unquote hotspots where the US is bombing, sending drone strikes, not to mention everywhere that the US is starving and sanctioning and just plain killing us, including African people colonized inside the US. Since 1991, when the US orchestrated the collapse of the Soviet U Union, US-backed NATO encroached 800 miles closer to Russia and put billions of dollars of military aid into Ukraine's surrounding countries. The US orchestrated the 2004 Orange Revolution and Ukraine and orchestrated the coup in 2014 with right-wing Svoboda Party and anti-Russian forces coming to power. This week, US levied fresh sanctions on Russia, talked about blocking Russian Aeroflot flights into the US barred seven Russian banks from the US financial network and shut down Russian media sources 
and European countries. Russia's currency, the Russian ruble, has dropped 30% in the past few days of US sanctions. The United States and NATO are putting billions of dollars into arming Ukraine forces. The US-backed NATO is threatening Russia at a time when Biden's approval rating polls were the lowest ever, 37%. The US media is vilifying Russia and Putin, putting out massive disinformation and countless lies about the situation. Poland is accepting millions of white Europeans from Ukraine. African people and other colonial nationalities are catching hell from Ukrainians and Polish people, something some African countries raised at the United Nations vote. And we're gonna show a clip of that, that those attacks happening um, against Africans in Ukraine and Poland, they're for real. These people left without taking the blacks, man. None of the blacks, man. There's been a lot of segregation and racism. It seems like there's a hierarchy of Ukrainians first, Indians second, Africans last. So there has been a lot of segregation in that sense. And then amongst the communities trying to flee Ukraine, there's been a lot of um, violence. Again, but when you, it be that it's casual to ya. Привет, газаре цей телефон. We are not allowing any black people to enter inside the gates. We are all here. It's only Ukrainians that they are allowing in. हम लोग सब रोमेनियन बॉर्डर पे खड़े हैं रोमेनियन यूक्रेनियन बॉर्डर पे अराउंड टू अराउंड 500 टू 600 बच्चे हैं ये लोग यूक्रेनियंस को बहुत प्रेफर कर रहे हैं यूक्रेनियंस को भी प्रेफरेंस दे रहे हैं इंडियंस को एक या दो निकाल रहे हैं आट अ टाइम ऑन ए लाइक एक्सपोज़े डेयर अवेक ले फ्रॉक की है इसी ऑन ए नू डोंट टू on nous abrite au fait. On est exposé avec le froid. Il y a un peu de temps que nous ne pouvons pas savoir. Il y a un peu de temps. Il n'y a pas de shelter. Il n'y a pas de washroom. Il n'y a pas de shelter. Il n'y a pas de food. Il n'y a pas de restaurant. 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 We are being thrown out of the train. They are not even allowing us in. Indian students are being attacked with sticks and stuff. We are students. 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 Um, it's important to note that the African People's Socialist Party over our 50 year history, um, you know, has always, you know, really understood this question uh, around Russia. And um, in fact, uh, here is a photo where Russia warmly welcomes Chair Namalia Shetela to speak in Russia three times uh, throughout the course of our party's history. Next. The chairman was invited to speak at the conference called Dialogue of Nations people's right to self-determination and the building of a multipolar world. And you'll see the chairman right there, um, right in the center, <clears throat> speaking at the Dialogue of Nations. So this is why we need to understand the colonial mode of production and the analysis of African internationalism, which the chairman will discuss with us today. So now it's my honor to welcome the leader of the African nation and the worldwide African revolution, Chairman Amalia Shetela, Uhura Chairman, <clears throat> Uhuru, thank you, Comrade Director Akile. Thank you thank so you. much.